Fuck you now. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark25, and we back with another video. I know I haven't posted in a long time. It's been probably about a week since I posted videos. I apologize to y'all for slacking on the videos. I just had to catch up with shit back up in the real world. I, I was getting left behind on stuff, but now I'm fully caught up. So you're gonna get consistent videos. I'm trying to at least get about two or three a week at most, at maximum. So we're gonna get right into this gameplay. This is episode seven for y'all. Let's get it. Oh, that boy Connor, yes sir. Uh, find Amanda. I bet. Um. Damn, bro, walk. About the way, birds. This got to be her, right? Yeah, it has to. You knew deviants could be unstable. You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. You damn right I'll be more careful in the future. I guess nah, he's definitely traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I'm unsure about him. Yeah, I don't know. I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore it. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. Facts. Because for some reason he was a dickhead last time. You can definitely count on me. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Yo, they got like their own little plot or something that they that they got going on behind the scenes type shit. Hmm. Go to reception, bet. <clears throat> Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say it like that? No, yes. Hasn't arrived yet, but you can go to his desk. Um. Okay. Bet. Ah. Uh. Okay. Where's his? Nah, I don't want to talk to him. Uh, not reading that magazine. Oh, is this him? Oh, bet, 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 bet. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. You got jokes, bro. You have jokes. You're hilarious. I'm laughing. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Why does he sit there like that, bro? <laughs> bro, I'm 
Bro, I don't want to explore the office, bro. Y'all some bitches. To be honest. To be honest. Uh, go see the deviant bet. Is this him? Nah, that ain't him. Here's the dude. Oh, shit, here we go. Okay, bet, bet, bet. You brought it on yourself, bro. Wait, actually, no, you didn't. Android lives matter, too. What the f... Open the cell, Yo, is he trying to kill himself? No. Oh my god, bro, why would you kill yourself, bro? God damn, man. Wow. That man killed himself. Why the, why the fuck would you do that? It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Hey, are we finna follow in? What's going on? What's, what's happening? Yep, close that door. What's finna happen? Assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? Bro, chill out. I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit. The truth is, yo, calm down. Fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Well, fuck you too, then, buddy. You're seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> the conversation is over. <laughs> Jeff, Jesus Christ. He said, yo, shit look like a novel. <laughs> Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn, bro. Damn. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. Yeah, I don't really got nothing to say to that. I'm, I'm, I'm really. He already looked pissed off. I don't want to. I don't want to get yelled at. All right, Hank, buddy. What's going on, bro? 
Um, understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. We're not here to be friends, bro. I'm here to help. I'm here to do my mission and dip out. That's it. I do none of that extra shit, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the good guy no more, bro. Fuck that shit. We not a good guy no more, bro. We try playing nice cop now. Yeah, we now we finna be this guy. Damn, he went missing. Suspect. That's a suspect. Damn. Oh my god. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. Two hundred and forty three and quickly spread across the country. AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Understand you're facing a personal issue, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them and hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend and I don't need your advice, okay? <laughs> like I said, I'm not gonna be good cop and I and then I say that shit. You better watch who you, bro. For real, you better watch who you, like, doing that shit on, bro. To be honest. Like, watch yourself. Watch yourself, Hank. I popped somebody before. I'll do it again. Watch yourself. I'm telling y'all, he need to watch himself. He needs to watch himself. All right, where we at now? Where we at? Oh shit! Okay, Cara Alice. Bad, 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 bad. Tell y'all, bro. Alice is fun as hell, bro. Like no kids have. Like she could really like get it low key, low key. Why does it give me that option, but then it makes me wake her up anyway? What? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it was my fault. No. No, it wasn't in your head. Um, are you hungry? You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Sounds good. Let's run it. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, bro, blink. Whoa, hold on now. What's she about to do? What's happening? Oh, she gonna cut her hair. Okay. Bro, that was fast as hell. What is how does black look? Ew, what about brown? Uh white? Ew. Blonde? Okay, I'll fuck with blonde. We can do blonde. White look weird as hell. Whoa. Y'all, this motion shit is so annoying. I don't understand, bro. <laughs> that shit is so annoying. Ugh. I'm getting to die. R.I.P. that. <laughs> um. You're pretty like that. You know, you, you damn right. You damn right. You damn skippy. That's nice. Yep, go take a bath. Take your bath. I'm not reading no fucking magazines because that shit pisses me off. Hmm. So it's raining outside. Okay. Um. What else can I look at? Oh, okay, the remote. Bet. Uh, change it. No. The victim's name was Todd William, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by an android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. Yo. I knew we were on the run, bro. We can't stay here. We can't stay here. We don't have no money. Um, you have any family? Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Um, comforting. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can design the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Facts. Comforter. See, like, that's like I be saying, bro. It's like, it's easier to talk to children, because it's like, if you give them any type of, like, comfort or, like, support, like, they're like, they automatically love you. But, like, you see, like, when I talk to somebody else... It's like, it's different. Like when I talk to like Hank or some shit, like like that, it's just so aggressive. When I try to be understanding and shit to him, he's like just so aggressive. But I feel like that's just because he hates like them in general. All right, let's go get you breakfast. Let's get you breakfast. Oh, whoa. that's Hank and Connor. So they were looking. For, oh, I, I, from the bro, don't. Bro, don't snitch. Don't snitch, bro. After a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You see anything? Android? No. Not the androids here. 
Don't snitch, bro. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I think there's something. You fucking snitch, bro. He's a snitch. Snitch! Why? Then yes, those of us know that the uniform is cordoned off here and everything looks good now. You wait in the car. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. Want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Pause. Bro, like, what do I, bro? I'm still coming anyway, so it's like, regardless of what you say, like, I'm still gonna come, like, regardless. Pause. <laughs> to all y'all in the chat, that thing wrong. Damn, bro, get up my ass. This man all up on me type shit. Please, please leave. Please, please tell me you're already gone. Please. They shorty dip? She's probably she's gone. She, they they gotta be gone already, right? It's gone. Why does he look so sad? <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Hide. Alright, uh, yeah, go this way. Yup, 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 yup. Hurry up. Hurry. Hide, hurry up. Go. Hurry up. Oh, no. This way. Yep, yep, yep. Hurry up, bro. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? That's smart, y'all. I would not have thought about that. Oh. Hi. Good shit. Okay, move, move, move. Here we go. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Damn. They were just walking and then just took off running out of nowhere. Good shit. Good job. Good shit, Car. You didn't sell the bag. I like it. I fuck with it. Fuck you, Nine. Fuck you, Nine. Fuck you, Nine. Woo! Alright, y'all. Well, that was episode seven. Y'all saw everything pop off. For some reason, this man Hank don't like me. I don't know why he don't like me, but he don't. So I'm trying not to get on his bad side. But y'all see through the video, I already got on this nigga's bad side. So that's already like the...
damn, okay. Um, so then, you know, Kara and I was still together. Now to find out, they come for them too, or they coming for Kara. So now they on a run from them. So now their stories are starting to like add up together. So that's what we see right now. I hope y'all like enjoyed the video. You know, drop a like button, drop a comment how y'all felt about it. Hit that sub button. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.